for those three hours of pure and unadulterated hell. This may come as a nasty surprise to you, but shock absorbers have been standard equipment on motorized vehicles for 30 years. Linda, you gormless oaf, do something. Like what? Like, stop them, Gretchen. Kenneth, this is a nightmare. Now take it easy, Arlena. We'll soon be there. Soon? Can't be soon enough for me, of all the fancy dreadful journeys. Isn't that the absurd little man we saw in the station at Tirana? The one who pinched the only decent taxi from under your nose? Yes, I do believe it is. Since we're all obviously going to Daphne's Island, I'd better introduce myself. I'm Kenneth Marshall, and this is my wife, Arlene. Ah, Hercule Poirot. Enchanté, madame. Charmed. Yeah. And this is my stepdaughter, Linda. Linda, do stop standing there like a cough drop and say good morning to Monsieur Poirot. Good morning. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Was your journey as frightful as ours, Monsieur Poirot? Alas, I fear the sea more than the land, madame. Oh, Mr. Marshall, I implore you not to spoil them. We'll have to pay double on the way home. And, uh, I don't think you know Arlena. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I do. Arlena and I are old sparring partners. Hello, Daphne. Oh, it's been years. Well, a little time, yes. Years. Arlena and I were in the chorus of a show together. Not that I could ever compete. Even in those days, she could always throw her legs up in the air higher than any of us. <laughs> and wider. Kenneth, this is such a surprise. When you tell me of an island run by a quaint little landlady, I had no idea it was Daphne Castle. Yes, quite. Uh, Daphne, I wonder if we could go to our rooms. It's been a long journey. Oh, certainly. Kenneth can easily carry the bags. They'll be brought up in a minute. There'll be cocktails tonight at eight o'clock. Do have a good, long, peaceful rest, Arlena. A uh, white lady, a sidecar, main brace, or between the sheets? Uh, no, if I could have a creme de cassis or a sirop de banane. Do you have banana syrup? Certainly. <laughs> Oh, my. I'm the last to arrive. Have a sausage, dear. You must be famished having to wait all that time in your room. <laughs> uh, have you have you met the Red Ferns? Christine and Patrick? Arlene Arlena, Dye. my favorite leading lady. <laughs> Why, if it isn't Odell and Myra. What on earth are you two doing here? It's wonderful to see you, Arlena. We have a fabulous show for you. Oh, it's a real humdinger, honey. And Odell insisted that we both come over here together to see you personally. Well, it's very sweet of you, but I'm sort of retired, you know. This is my new audience. Have you met my husband? How do you do? How do you do? We'll change your mind. You won't be able to resist this one. Keela's mad to do it, but we're holding her off until you have a chance to look at it. And can he's done some of the best music you've ever heard. Arlena, darling, it's simply sensational to see you again. Hello, Rex. Now, how do you do? I'm Kenneth Marshall. Excuse me. I must talk to you, Arlene, darling. Not now, Rexy Cool. Thank you. Cheers.